I'm topping my pizza. I was thinking like a cow's go bar. The clock is stuck. The clock is stuck. Please make the tension end. I shouldn't even be here. It should have been my friend. She's the one who stole the lock off the cubicle number two. So poor old Mrs. Barleycorn couldn't use the stamp room loo. <laughs> Just because the stolen lock were in my bag last night with screwdriver, tools and the staff room key to make me a criminal, right? So here I am and here I stay. I guess it's just my luck. And now I've got a lifetime detention because the clock on the wall is stuck. Someone came knocking at my wee small door. Someone came knocking. I'm sure, sure, sure. I listened. I opened. I looked to the left and the right, but not there was a stirring in the still, dark night. Only the busy beetle tap tapping at the wall. Only from the forest the screech owl's call. Only the cricket whistling while the dewdrops fall. So I know not who came knocking at all, at all. The microbe is so very small, you cannot make him out at all. But many sanguine people hope to see him through a microscope. His jointed tongue that lies beneath a hundred curious rows of teeth. His seven tufted tails with lots of lovely pink and purple spots. On each of which a pattern stands, composed of 40 separate bands. His eyebrows of a tender green. All of these have never yet been seen. But scientists who ought to know assure us that it must be so. Oh, let us never, never doubt what nobody is sure about. A stranger called this morning, dressed all in black and grey, put every sound into a bag and carried them away. The whistling of the kettle, the turning of the lock, the purring of the kitten, the ticking of the clock, the popping of the toaster, the crunching of the flakes, when you spread the marmalade, the scraping noise it makes, the hissing of the frying pan, the ticking of the grill, the bubbling of the bathtub as it starts to fill, the drumming of the raindrop on the window pane, when doing the washing up, the gurgle of the drain. The crying of the baby, the squeaking of the chair, the swishing of the curtain, the creaking of the stair. A stranger called this morning. He didn't leave his name. He left us only silence. Life will never be the same. <laughs>